I'm Councillor David Ross, the leader of Fife Council. We're just over a year into the new Council five-year term, so it feels like a good time to take stock of our, the progress we're making on our big priorities and to set out our aims for the coming year. Our three overarching priorities are tackling poverty and supporting vulnerable people, supporting the local economy and addressing the challenge of climate change. And I think we've made a good start. Last winter, we ran a successful programme of actions to help people most impacted by the cost of living crisis through the winter months, through things like benefits and energy advice, emergency fuel payments, warm spaces and emergency food support. And we plan to run this again over the coming winter. We've agreed our new local economic strategy with support for local businesses, investing in skills and training for local people, and investment in business premises and infrastructure. And we'll shortly be publishing our new climate change action plan, including things like recycling, improving insulation of our buildings, supporting new energy schemes, and local community climate initiatives. We've met our promise to scrap charges for bulky uplifts and are already seeing a drop in fly tipping. And we've put an extra three and a half million pounds into repairing Fife's roads this year. For the longer term, we're continuing to build new affordable homes to add to the 7,400 we've already delivered since 2012 with our partners. And we've completed the new Methyl Care Village and have plans for new council care homes in Cooper and Anstruther. We're well on the way towards completing the new Dunfermline Learning Campus and for replacing the ageing Inverkeething High School. Over the coming year, we'll be focusing in particular on housing and continuing to deal with the housing needs built up over the pandemic and on education, improving attendance, attainment and helping our young people into positive destinations after school. All this is in the context of continuing funding pressures on the Council. As I say, I think we've made a good start, but there's much more to do over the next four years of this Council term. So thanks for taking the time to listen, and if you have any comments, please let us know through the form on the Council website at www.fife.gov.uk.